The idea to dance in the museum grew from some simple convictions. That well-being is enhanced through shared cultural experience, through dance, through self-expression and beauty. So why not dance in a place that's defined by beauty, the Fitzwilliam? This project, Dancing in the Museum, it merges the arts. It brings together the gallery space, the artworks, music and movement. And the art, the artworks that we look at, they were brought alive by using them directly in the moment for self-expression. To do this, we worked together with a group of older people and we asked them to partner with us to explore how this could work and what impact it could have. The isolation and subsequent low levels of well-being that can haunt many older people led us to a collaboration with the City Council Independent Living Service. They were keen to work with us to explore how the people they support could benefit from this experience. When he painted this painting, this one. talking about the artworks and then we put the music and the movement on and what's that bit like for you? What happens then? Well it gives a nice warmth right the way through which again I cannot imagine that the average uh, museum normally is well known for its warmth. It's, it's known for its static statues if you want really. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So it comes alive. I think it does, mm. and if, if only there was more of this and an opportunity to get more people doing it, I think it would be it would be more in well for their benefit, but also it would give real reason for this beautiful place. I came like Michael, I mean I'm, I'm Cambridge hmm. and I've lived here all my life and I used to spend a lot of time in here okay. when I was a child because it was the place to go for okay. some reason yeah. and of course you had this, oh you mustn't run, you mustn't you know, move quickly through here, hmm. you, but this coming here and dancing and things like that is against everything that we had to do when we were young. I remember you once saying when we met before that often when you come through a museum you're rushed through. Mm, yeah. There isn't time, there no, isn't no, no, space, there isn't. 
There so what's a... different about this then? Because we usually have the whole gallery to ourselves mm. and nobody's sort of trying to get to the picture and you're in the way and trying to read something and then they try and stand in front of you mm. and so much more relaxed. Yeah. Do you feel it. you're in the way here? No. How do you feel when relaxed. you come here? Yeah. Relax. It's a laugh. Yeah. It's good fun. Yeah. And it's a lovely afternoon. Mm. Pity we can't do it more often. Oh, no. <laughs> Pity we can't do that more often. We'd like to do it more often. <laughs> <laughs> colours. You love them. My name is Laura Adcock and I'm, I'm the Housing Services Manager at Cambridge City Council. So one of the things that we're really keen on in the Independent Living Service is looking at promoting more social activities for our tenants and, and reducing social isolation and loneliness and so we were approached by the Fitzwilliam Museum about ways that we could work with them um, to try and engage people uh, that live in our sheltered schemes to have more cultural opportunities and we're really pleased to be working with, with, the, with the museum like that.